Until now, we have discussed at a high level concepts surrounding surveillance and the many forms it takes. Now we will navigate the covert realm of counter surveillance, a crucial facet in preserving operational security and staying a step ahead in the intelligence game. It is also the concept that normal everyday civilians can take advantage of in safeguarding their own security. You could find yourself under surveillance by criminals, thieves, or fraudsters. It could take the form of physical surveillance or virtual. Wouldn't you want to know if you are being targeted? Counter-surveillance serves as a shield, detecting and nullifying adversarial surveillance efforts. It's the invisible armor that protects sensitive operations, ensuring they proceed unimpeded and undetected. It can also increase your personal safety in your day-to-day -day life. Now let's dive into the indicators of surveillance. Recognizing the subtle signs, be it an unfamiliar vehicle trailing for an extended period or repetitive patterned movements in your vicinity, or virtual recon. These indicators trigger the counter-surveillance protocols, enabling operatives to assess and mitigate potential threats. As civilians, they could be indicators of a crime being planned or even the reconnaissance phase of a hacking operation. Getting weird calls and unfamiliar invites on social media? This could be routine spam or a targeted effort. One might employ strategies such as route alterations, behavioral unpredictability, or deploying decoys to detect or evade potential surveillance. The aim is to either confirm the suspicion, deter the surveillance, or gather intelligence on their adversaries. One principle to keep in mind is to avoid becoming paranoid. Just because you see the same car twice doesn't mean you're being targeted. We all get marketing cold calls. The key questions to ask yourself are, why would this be happening? What am I doing that could be of interest to a suspicious party? If you're a criminal and you have come under the suspicion of the police, then they are doing their job. Good luck with it. In a more contemporary scenario, counter-surveillance played a pivotal role in thwarting potential terrorist threats, where detection of adversarial surveillance led to preemptive actions, neutralizing the threats before they could materialize. In conclusion, Counter-surveillance is an indispensable art in the broader surveillance panorama. It's not merely about evading eyes, but understanding the chessboard, anticipating adversarial moves, and making informed, strategic decisions to maintain the veil of operational security. During our capstone exercise, you may have the opportunity to conduct counter-surveillance on foot or in a vehicle. The exercise is a controlled environment and safety is paramount. You might want to begin thinking about what techniques or tactics this entails. Remember, remaining calm and natural are key. Use your environment to your advantage. See you in the next lecture.